Hello, I'm going to show you how to create a professional website. Simple, 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 simple. I'm going to make this so simple, it's child's play. The only thing that's required is you know how to copy and paste. If you can copy and paste with shortcut keys, that's even better. Macintosh's command C, Windows is control C. So if you can copy, paste, paste this command V for Victor, paste command V, and control V for Windows. If you can copy and paste, I can show you how to create a simple web page design using Dreamweaver. Now, before we get started here, I just want to share with you that we're working in classic mode. So in Dreamweaver, CS3, CS4, CS5, so different modes you can work in. We're working in classic mode. Now, what I want you to do is reset classic mode. So this way it behaves exactly on your computer as it does my computer. And we're going to click create new HTML. Okay, so here's our first page created. Now, all these palettes over here, we don't need. So we're going to close, take all these palettes over here, and we're going to close them. Okay, now, the first thing we're going to do here is tell Dreamweaver where our site is kept. So how do we do that? Well, based on these choices, my objective, I'm going to get you to think the way that software thinks. Very simply, very straightforward. So I'm going to go to Site, New Site. Okay, now, in older versions, this might be a little different looking, but in CS3 and CS4, you click Advanced, and the interface will look similar to this. Now I'm going to name my site. We're going to call this my hyphen first hyphen website. Now, of course, it doesn't matter what you call it. We're going to take this and we're going to copy that. Command C, Control C. Okay, so we don't have to retype it. Now, we're going to tell Dreamweaver where your site is kept. So, I'm going to navigate away to the desktop. Okay. On my desktop, I have a folder called Websites. So simply create a folder on your desktop called Websites. Double click or choose. Inside this folder, we're going to make a new folder. Okay, so if you have to, go to your desktop. Let's cancel this for a second. So I'm just going to go to my desktop. And I'm going to create a new folder inside of websites. I'm going to create a new folder called My First Website. Now, this new folder will be our root directory for the new website. Of course, you can call this again, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now I'm going to tell Dreamweaver where this site is kept. I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to choose my first website. Now, very important step here. My first website becomes my root folder. That becomes my root folder. So now I'm going to save that. So I've saved the directory of how to get to that folder. Okay. Now I'm going to save the file. File save under the file menu. File save. Now, unlike any other program you worked in before, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, those softwares don't care where you save the file. Dreamy does care where you save the file. So as an example, let's say that I was accidentally on my desktop. I definitely don't want to save the file on the desktop. But because we just got setting up the site directory, if you come down here and click site root, it will automatically put you inside of the site root folder. So, very important step here. Don't save it any other folder, but the folder we told Dreamweaver to be our root directory. We're going to call this the index page. Index page is the home page. Okay, so basically we saved our first web page. Okay, now, very important step here, the title of the page. The title of the page is not to be confused with the name of the file. The name of the file is index.html. The title of the page is basically what the page is about. So as an example, I would typically put in the name of the site. So we're going to put in the name of the site. 
minus hyphens and all that stuff. So we'll just call this mysite.com. And let's say we sell fresh fish. So we're going to type in fresh fish. More specifically, let's say we sell fresh fish from New York City. So we're going to put in New York City. And let's say we also offer free shipping. So we're going to put in free shipping. Now, the title of the page is very important because that title is going to come up in a search engine. So what you put up here is plain old simple English. This is the title of the page that is the title of your browser that's going to come up in a search engine. Okay, so we're going to create very, very simply content for our website. Content for the website. So let's get started. Now, again, we're in classic mode. Classic mode, we set to reset. I want you to come up here to the top of your menu and click layout. Okay, so don't pay attention. There's no code. We're simply going to do the layout of our site. We're going to have different sections for our site. As an example, we're going to have the top part where the logo and the phone number goes. That's the branding section of the website. Then we're going to have a navigation section of our website. Then we're going to have the uh, main content section of our website. Then we're going to have a sidebar, perhaps a sidebar called news and events of our website. So I'm going to make this so simple, it's frighteningly simple. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is insert some, some div tags. Div tags. A tag is what it lies inside the website. All Dreamweaver does is create code. I just want to share with you a very simple concept here. If I come over here and hit code. This is the code it automatically created for you when I create a new website. So anything inside of this tag, this is a body tag. This is an opening body tag. This is a closing body tag. All content must be inside these tags. Now, Dreamweaver knows where to put it. If you go back to the design mode, and I put something like, oh, oh, oh. so where did it put this content? It put the content in the code inside of the body tag. You didn't have to do that. Dreamweaver did it for you. I just want to share a concept with you. So we're going to put different division tags. A tag is an HTML tag. Dreamweaver creates tags as an example. A header tag, a paragraph tag, a body tag, more specifically a div tag, D-I-V tag. So as an example, if I was to type in here, uh oh, welcome. Okay, so by default, this doesn't have, this is inside the body tag. Right there, it's inside the body tag. So what I'd like to do is this is my property palette here. I want to format this content, this text, I'm going to select the text and I'm going to format it. I select it right down here with my tag selector. I've selected the body tag, which right now is the entire page. So if you worked in Microsoft Word before or PowerPoint or any other program, this is my property palette. As an example, I can make things bold. I can make things italic. Just like a word processing program. What we're going to do is we're going to format this information here, this content that we currently have on the page, we're going to format it as a paragraph. I'm going to come right down here and select paragraph. So this content is now a paragraph. How do I know that? If you look at the code, you'll see it's surrounded with a paragraph tag. Opening paragraph tag, closing paragraph tag. Now, I mentioned that we're not going to write code, but I just want to share with you that that's what the code does. So as an example, hello, welcome, return key. Okay, This is my first web page. Spelling sometimes helps. Now, what I want to do here, by default here, this, if I click down here on the bottom left, this is a paragraph, and if I put my cursor right here, this is a paragraph. Okay. Now, here's what I'd like to do. 
this is the headline of my site. So I can simply put my cursor right here. I come down to format and I can select a headline known as header tags. One is the biggest, six is the smallest. So as an example, if I pick six down here, this is for small type. If I pick one, one is very big type. So let's say that this is the greeting for my website. So I'm saying, hello, welcome. Okay, now let's say this is a e-commerce website. So I'm gonna hit the return key and I'm gonna type in shop till you drop. Now, very important step here. This is a header tag. How do I know that? Because it says H1 down here. Okay, I want to make this a header too. This will be my subhead. So how do I make that an H2 tag? I don't have to select the text. I just have to have my cursor right here. And I come down here and I say header 2. So right now, header 1 is bigger than header 2. Or I can make it header 3. To make it smaller by default. Let's go back to header 2. Okay, so right now this is saying header one, followed by header two, followed by paragraph. Again, if you go to your code, you can see that's exactly what it did. This is my H1 tag. This is my H2 tag. This is my H, this is my paragraph tag. So back in the day, we had to write this stuff from scratch inside of code, but you don't have to do that. History Remember does this for you. So it's a really, really straightforward program. It's very straightforward as far as you just click your mouse and do things with it. Okay, so this will get you started with understanding how tags work. In our next video, we'll actually build the page. We'll design the page and build the page. We just want to share with you some very, very basic, simple, straightforward concepts. Thank you.